In the spring of 2016, I was gripped by the words of Isaiah 61. It is a prophecy about how Jesus would come to bring good news to the spiritually poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, and to set the captive free. And as I kept reading, I was struck by the words that describe God's people, that they will be planted as oaks of righteousness, that he may be glorified, and that broken cities may be restored. With that passage in mind, we planted our lives in the city of Cincinnati. And what God has done since the summer of 2016 could only be attributed to His grace. From our little living room on Ward Street, to 20th Century Theater, to John P. Parker Elementary, to Christ the King Church, and now the Madisonville Rec Center, God has been faithful to bring restoration in us and through us. Lives have been eternally changed, former strangers have become a church family, and the fingerprints of God have been forever impressed upon the city we call home. Again and again, the story of the Oaks is steps of faith met with the kindness, faithfulness, and power of God. I believe that the last six years of what God has done in and through our church is just the beginning. And now is one of those moments that I believe that God is calling us to take a step of faith Believing that God's past faithfulness to us is the greatest indicator of his future faithfulness. God has provided our church family with a home where we will gather for worship, introduce our friends and family to Jesus, serve our city, train the next generation of disciples, and equip missionaries to reach the world. So Oaks Church, let's link arms and move forward to plant roots in this city. Let's pray boldly, live missionally, and sacrifice financially so that more people would experience restoration through the gospel in the city of Cincinnati and the world. Hey y'all, I'm Maria Seau, if we haven't met. I ended up at the Oaks Church back in 2020. I matched here for residency and maybe one of the worst years to match into a residency. And things were so crazy in the hospital. A co-resident and I, Lily, would meet at my house on Sundays and we would watch the Oaks together. And then as things were getting better and we had vaccines, we were able to come and join the Oaks in person and then become members. Hi there, I'm Caleb Blair. And I'm Hannah Blair. And we've been attending the Oaks since the fall of 2021. Hi, my name is Eric Reichwein. I ended up at the Oaks because during the pandemic, there was no church the day of that didn't require me to RSVP. And I stumbled upon the Oaks and I went and I love the sermon and the pastor, Terry Lee, remembered my name. Yeah, as somebody on Setters and Breakers, super excited about the OCB and not setting up any more pipe and draper chairs. Uh, but in all seriousness, so excited to have a permanent home in the city and a place that we can gather even on weekday nights, a place where the children's ministry will have its own spaces and rooms that are meant for kids to learn and grow more in their faith. Um, the building <clears throat> is very exciting because um, I think it's a very tangible way that we can see the Lord's blessing on the Oaks and uh, the way that He is orchestrating um, so many people, using different people at the Oaks to meet different needs like um, the financial team or even people who give of their Saturdays to go and work there on the Serve Saturdays or I know many people go throughout the week as well. Um, I think it's really just in a different way, highlighting the different strengths of uh, different people at the Oaks and the body there and um, giving people new ways to serve already too, which is very exciting. Uh, the OCB is exciting because we can like uniquely engage in the community. We can't just like preach the gospel to people without meeting their needs first, if they're hungry and if they're cold and they're not clothed. So it gives us a unique opportunity for the people in Silverton in that area to love them and then also preach the gospel, give the best news that they've ever heard in their entire lives. Uh, and so I'm just excited about how different ministries can blossom, the, the more things that we can uh, do together. Uh, and I hope that it will also challenge us to still be reaching out, that we won't become insular and just self-focused, but that we'll still uh, be seeking ways where this is like a launching pad to continue going out and doing things out in uh, the community, um, but have a place to come back to uh, where we need 
um, there's going to be so many opportunities that we can take advantage of because of the building that we'll have.